okay the very first step you have to do is download the windows 10 iso files i'll put the link in the description box i have the iso file downloaded it's a 4.53 gb download so that is the very first step you have to do so now we're gonna start virtual box okay you can see i already have a bunch of machine installed over here so i'm just gonna go to machine and select a new machine i'm gonna name this windows 11 and i'm gonna choose other windows 64 bit and i would prefer to give it at least 4096 megabytes that's 4 gb of ram so i'd suggest allocating at least half the ram of your computer so you don't face problems later and i'm gonna select create a virtual hard disk now and hit create so this is 20 gb right now i'm just gonna increase this to 60 gb and make sure you have dynamically allocated selected vdi and hit create okay so we have created windows 11 machine now we're just gonna go to settings and change some basic settings so we can just run this machine the first thing you gotta check is you have to check whether you have windows 10 64 bit selected if if it is not selected you have to select it windows 10 64 bit advanced you don't have to change anything over here go to system increase the memory and make sure enable io apic is selected make sure all of these settings are same go to processor allocate at least two processors which will make it much more faster enable both of these settings are selected otherwise the os will run really slow acceleration i have enabled nested paging enabled i'm gonna go to display i have 128 mb of ram selected vbox svga okay this is where we attach our iso file you just have to select your iso file i have it in my downloads folder and we have the ISO file attached and the rest of the settings are just fine you don't really have to change anything and hit OK ok now we are good to go we are gonna start this machine okay you have to select your iso file over here so okay you have to select your iso file over here just select the iso file and hit start and you should see the installation starting i see the windows logo and it's loading okay we are on the welcome screen i don't have to change anything over here you can select your preferred language and hit next i'm just gonna hit install now i am just gonna select windows 11 pro and hit next okay we accept and hit next and we will be selecting the second option we had the 60 gb drive over here and we just gonna select next and the installation has started
the speed of the installation may be different depending on your processor yep it's booting and it's very exciting right now to see how this looks and feels is all of microsoft fans windows fans have been waiting for a user interface overall since a very long time right now the resolution is a bit messed up but once the computer boots up we'll this looks good okay so the installation screen has changed a lot very very modern the installation screen has loaded and you all can see we see more of rounded corners now and it looks pretty good to me so i'm just going to select my country and this gives me a mac os feel it feels very modern i'm going to select english india and hit yes i'm going to skip this for now this is a very early release but still it looks pretty good So, okay so i'm going to set this up for personal use right now and hit next i'm going to sign in over here hit next sign in and hit next Okay, I'm going to skip this for now. Let us create a pin. I really love the animation on this one right now. Let's going to add a new pin and hit okay. I'm going to choose setup as a new device and hit next. There are still some glitches in animation. This is a very early release. So, we cannot really judge from this one. I'm going to disable all of this. I don't need this right now cuz this can slow down my PC. Hit X. I'm going to skip this for now. Although this is a new feature we didn't have customization earlier in Windows 10. I'm going to select this one right now. I don't want to back up my files to one drive. Okay. The font does look different. This is not the font that Windows 10 had. It looks pretty much different from that. The background screen has changed. This we didn't have this animation back then in Windows 10.
okay we have booted into windows 11 i mean this looks pretty different although there are still elements that haven't changed so i'm just gonna give you all a small walk through through these things through these settings how these look We still haven't got rounded corners everywhere as you all can see the settings app does not have rounded corners right now it's checking for updates i'm just gonna let it rest i'm gonna show you all the start menu and the start menu does look good let us check out microsoft edge Okay, there are a lot of animations right now. I'm not gonna allow. Okay, open by default. It's much smoother this time. And we have widgets back. Okay, widgets is back and it looks really great right now a bunch of settings the transparent thing looks looks just great everything looks great we have task view task view has now changed this has changed so much all these settings are inspired by windows 10x I'm gonna power off the machine now 